Hello, my name's Lisa, and if this is your first time here, then thank you for choosing to click on this video. If you are a returning subscriber, then just know I really do appreciate you. And if you are one of my channel members, then thank you so much. Now, today's video is going to be some training from a man in the MLM Live Good, which is a new MLM on the block because it has only been around for just over one year. And that is going to be something that is quite important to remember throughout this video. He is going to explain to us how to recruit 1,000 people in a year. But let's have a little wager here, shall we? Who of you out there watching this thinks this guy has actually done that himself? Leave a yes or no in the comments. And it will be revealed in this video what the answer is by him. So without further ado, let's dive right in, shall we? Yes, we're going to talk about how to recruit a thousand people in 2024 or whenever you're watching. One year, a thousand people. It can be done. All right. There's people that are recruiting 200 people a month. I'm asking for a friend here, but do you have any proof of people that are recruiting 200 people a month? I would like to see evidence of that, please using certain platforms and I'm going to get into this. I just I just want to expand your perception of what you need to do in network marketing to become successful. A thousand people, if you recruited a thousand people, you would definitely get three to five leaders that will make 90% of your income in network marketing. If you recruit a thousand people, that's only going to be 90% of your income. So where's the other 10% coming from? And did he just really say that if you recruit 1,000 people, you are only going to get three to five leaders? Just in case you don't know, what they term a leader in a multi-level marketing company is someone who is near the top of the pyramid and they build a team underneath them who basically does all the work but doesn't get all of the perks and certainly doesn't get all of the money unless they are near the top. Those are the numbers, okay? Yes, there's rare instances where people recruit 20 to 40 and they're fine. They, they can make millions that way, okay? But most people need to recruit a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. That was the quiet part out loud there, wasn't it? What you need in a network marketing company is to recruit a lot, a lot, a lot. He's just proving that it has nothing to do with the product. Is that what he was suggesting the other 10% of your money is going to come from? Is the products that are sold? Oh, I'm sure that's the definition of a pyramid scheme, isn't it? So... Just, I'm going to put this into perspective. In the last nine years, I have personally recruited 3,000 people. Well, there we go. That's our answer. In the last nine years, he has personally recruited 3,000 people. That works out at 1,000 people every three years. And yet here he is trying to explain to us how to do it in one year. Are we going to trust him? Are we going to follow his training? Are we going to join his MLM? That's a hard no for all of those questions from me. about you? And right now, I recruited in the new company I'm in, I've recruited over 380 in 10 months. That has turned into 30,000, a team of 30,000. Absolutely crazy. Okay. I thought I was pretty badass. 
He's recruited 380 people in 10 months. He's not even halfway to a thousand people in a year, is he? Not only that, this is a company that has only been around for just over one year. And he's saying he thinks he is a bad ass. That's definitely not my definition of one of those. Is it yours? I mean, seriously, a new company is the easiest and quickest time to recruit because it's the new kid on the block. It's something that people don't know about and they are curious about. And as I keep saying in all of my videos, the only real time that you can make a lot of money in an MLM is if you can recruit people into a new opportunity. If you join too late, you've just got no hope at all. And we already know that the FTC tells us that over 99% of people that join an MLM make zero money and even lose money. But I was just watching Jesse Lee Ward and unfortunately she passed from cancer last month. But I was watching one of her trainings. Uh, she was the number one female earner in the world. She made over a million dollars a month. Jessie Lee did sadly pass away last month. And may she rest in peace. But even though she's not around anymore, what proof have you got that she was the number one network marketer in the world? Just because that's what she called herself. That doesn't mean it's true. And if you Google it, you'll find that's not the name that comes up. And not only that, please show me evidence of anyone making over a million dollars a month. Because you can't, can you? She has 1.4 million customers in her organization with lots of recruiters and lots of builders, lots of leaders, and so forth. Anyways, she started this training saying that she recruited personally 10,000 people in the last 11 years. There's one thing he just said there that I do tend to agree with a little bit. Jesse Lee did have quite a few leaders, builders on her team. That is correct. I've made quite a few videos on a number of them because they can make some quite interesting content that can be reacted to. Let's just put it that way. I'll link some of their videos in the description below. But getting back to what else he's saying, 1.4 million customers. Hmm. Again, I really don't think that you can prove that. And to be fair, if you can't prove any of these points, should you really be making them? Because in my opinion, I don't think you should. No. So that's roughly about a thousand people a year. So how is she doing it and how am I doing it and how can you do it most importantly? So the first thing you need to do is be extremely authentic and you have to target a very select niche. A niche is your target market, your target audience. And the more people, the more problems you solve for these people, the more you'll make money and recruit people. But you gotta tell your story. You have to be extremely authentic. You have to be so authentic that even you embarrass yourself a little. If you are embarrassed about your story, then in just my opinion, then I think that your story is a lie, that it is something you are making up. You are saying you are earning a set amount of money and that probably isn't true. And you are showing people a lifestyle that you don't actually live. I would think those are the only reasons why you would be embarrassed about your story. Because if you were telling the truth, then you'd be going, yeah, and shouting it from the rooftops. So why aren't you? 
you have to stretch your your limits a little okay and you have to be on every platform almost every platform now there's a trick of repurposing content okay so you could do a 15 second TikTok, and then you can repurpose it you can remove the marking on it the TikTok water watermark and you can put that on facebook reels then you could put it on youtube shorts you could put it on instagram and what was the other one there is even i think you can even put it on pinterest so you're making one 15 second video and you're putting it on four platforms so you're basically killing four birds with one stone so then you have to do massive content so yeah you you just did four videos doing one video but you're gonna have to do that about three times a day all right you have to be omnipresent and you have to have the mindset that you are number one is he teaching us to suck eggs there that's hardly revolutionary training is it it's basic anyone who does any kind of online business knows the more content you put out the more chance you've got of being successful and it doesn't matter what business you're in for that to work personally i'm a bit lazy and i don't repurpose my content i could get on a lot better and a lot quicker if i did but you know maybe i'm being unfair to myself i'm not too lazy to do it i've got a job i also make youtube content i also babysit for grandchildren whilst their parents work so it's not so much being lazy it's just that i don't make it a priority but coming back to what i was saying he's not teaching us anything new at all is he so why is he making this video telling us the same thing that everyone else tells us and you have to 10x your expectation okay 10x your predictions and that means going all in and believing that you can change your whole entire life in one year and what i want you to do is realize that you have to be very selective with who, who you're talking to and you have to be extremely authentic and you have to learn how each platform works every platform is unique okay so youtube shorts is not going to take hashtags actually they like two or three hashtags on shorts okay i'm i'm thinking long long form but instagram likes lots of hashtags like 10 to 15 and they're gonna have to be kind of you know close to each other in uh the audience type okay Pinterest, they don't even care about hashtags really, and Facebook Reels doesn't care about hashtags. He's saying the quiet part out loud there again by telling you that you've got to work your butt off in order to recruit people. But one thing I will say to you, don't bother on TikTok because multi-level marketing is banned from TikTok. So if you are going to spend hours of your time on TikTok, you will find that you will get reported by many people and you will lose your account. So if you want to waste your time, then do it on TikTok. Why am I helping these people in MLMs? I shouldn't be doing that, should I? I shouldn't be helping them at all. I shouldn't be giving that kind of advice. I'm, I'm just a nice person. So you need to find the number one recruiter for each of these platforms and copy what they're doing not copy their stuff i'm saying emulate them all right so find the number one earner that's on tiktok for uh let's say that you want to promote collagen tiktok is great for products okay it's not great for opportunity seekers however you, you can put your opportunity link in your link tree that you have on your tiktok but if you want to do TikTok the right way, I believe it is product-based. Look, he's agreeing with me. He's saying only go on TikTok if you are going to talk about products and not the opportunity. So he's agreeing with me. That's good, isn't it? I'm not even on TikTok. I hate TikTok. Jesse Lee talked about her losing weight and stuff. And the other girls that are killing it with collagen are just talking about collagen. They're the educational go-tos for collagen. 
So you have to become the authority in your in your product, okay? And select one product and hammer it three times a day on TikTok. And provide value and don't talk about the name of your company. Just say, just get to the point where you're talking about it so well that at the end of the TikTok, they're, they're like, where do I buy this? I mean, this is amazing. I want your collagen. How do I find it? Okay. And you're going to have a link tree in your bio. After you get a thousand followers on TikTok, you can put a link in your bio. If you don't talk about your product, then anyone that knows anything about multi-level marketing will be able to spot that's what you're talking about and hopefully will stay well away from you. And he's telling you to do something that you can't do until you've got 1,000 followers. Well, so far, I really don't think much of this training. Do you? Then you're going to be doing Facebook Reels where you just write a title in the video description. You don't you don't have hashtags there, okay? So like I said, every platform is different. You gotta find out how each platform works, master it, and do massive content. Where's the time freedom? You have to learn all of these platforms to put content on two, three, or four times a day you have to follow up with these supposed people who are going to be contacting you about the product or possibly, if you're lucky, the opportunity. And you are going to have to follow up with all of those people constantly, battering them to get them to join you because they stupidly left a like or a comment on your content. That's what I'm saying. Even if you just follow someone, they are going to try and get you into their business. You are never going to be anyone's friend. They are just going to see you as a dollar sign and a means to an end. So the point of this is, even if you went for a thousand recruits in a year, if you fell short, Let's say, let's say you, you didn't hit 1,000, but let's say you got 200 instead. 200 recruits in a year. It's completely doable. That's about four people a week. No problem, all right? That's very doable. If you had 200 people after one year, you'd probably still find a couple leaders out of that. And you show them what you are doing that's working. You want them to duplicate. And you wanna go after the builders, okay? You wanna believe that you are number one and you're going places and you want to invite a few people with you. You have to have the mindset that you are going to dominate the whole market. And it doesn't matter if you're making money now or not. What matters is your belief. People will be addicted to your belief. Is it me or is he actually contradicting himself now? If you recruit 1,000 people, you can get three to five builders stroke leaders. But if you only recruit 200 people, you could still get one or two. That math is not mathing for me. And it really does matter if you're not making any money. Because if you are spending money on product every month, then you need to get a return on your investment. And if that's not happening, that is how people get into debt. So yes, it does really matter. If you show up every single day, they're going to be like, wow, they are really going for it. I want to join them. They're going for it. I love their energy. I love what they're doing. I love their mission. You got to have a mission. You got to leave a legacy. You got to think big, like universal terms, huge, like wanting to change the world. This is only if you want to make a lot of money, all right? If you're fine making a couple hundred bucks a month, then so be it. So a thousand people, you can do it because Jessie Lee Ward did it. And what, how did she do it? She was extremely authentic and she utilized every platform. She did over 4,000 TikToks. She did over, I don't know, 4,000 posts on Instagram, maybe more. She has 1,100 videos on YouTube. I mean, she even beat me on YouTube. I only have 900. Are you suggesting there are more people out there like Jessie Lee Ward? Because if you are, then I, for one, think you are totally wrong. Another point 
you're pushing the training that you learned from JLW. But what you're not mentioning is the fact that her MLM business wasn't her only stream of income. Well, almost a thousand. But um, you got to think big. You have to think really big because so many people are like, yeah, you know, I recruited five people. I'm going to just, you know, chill out now. Five people. This is a real business. You got to you got to treat it like a million dollar business, even a billion dollar business. You got to be the CEO of a billion dollar corporation here. You got to treat it like you got a staff of 100. and They're all helping you to succeed. All right. And you can hire people when you get bigger. You can hire someone to do your thumbnails. You can hire someone to format your Instagrams. You can hire someone to do your YouTube shorts. Treat it like a business. You can only hire people if you actually make any money. And most people don't. And, and massive recruiting numbers. Massive. I'm not talking about buying leads, okay, because they don't know you. You have to establish people, establish trust with your viewers by telling your story, being extremely authentic and extremely prolific. But it can happen. Ignorance is ignorance on fire is better than ignor, uh, wisdom on ice. It's better. People do better when they don't know what they're doing, and they, but they're in, so enthusiastic that they recruit a ton of people, and then they kind of get cold. You know, the more they the more they learn, they're like, well you know, I should do this better. I should, you know, slow down and figure out how to do this. No, go all in. Be on fire. Do it like you're going to be homeless in two weeks if you don't. Treat it like it's life or death, like your back is against the wall. Unfortunately, in many cases, the people MLMs recruit, their backs are against the wall, though. And overshoot, overshoot, overshoot. 10x. You got to read... The 10x rule by Grant Cardone and start creating content. Right? It doesn't have to be perfect. You want massive imperfect action. It's okay to screw up. People are gonna love it. When you screw up and you're being vulnerable, they're gonna love you. And you're gonna get haters. The bigger you get, you're gonna get haters. That's part of business. So what? Hello. I'm what's considered as a hater. I'm not a hater, really. I just don't like the business model because it is so stacked against the people that are not at the top. I have nothing against people in MLMs. I just feel a bit sorry for them and wish they would get out. I block them. I spend one second on them and they're gone forever. You have complete control over your platforms. You can block people on any platform, but you need haters. That's that's when you know you're you're reaching a new audience and that's what you want. So that's how you recruit. Massive people. No one stops recruiting that's big. All right? Jesse Lee Ward, 10,000 people. Myself, 3,000. I know a lot of people over 1,000 recruits that are big. Jenna Zwaggle is now the number one earner in the world. I know she's recruited over 1,000 people. So you got to think big. And recruiting is the bread and butter of our business. People hop from MLM to MLM because they think one is better than the other. But to be honest, they're all exactly the same. The only way to make money in an MLM is to recruit over and over and over again. So if you can't do it in the first or the second one, then my advice to you would be to stop trying because you're obviously not going to be any good at it, which in the long run is going to be better for you because it's going to save you an awful lot of money, which is something you can get back. But it will also save you a huge amount of time, which you can never get back. And and think about recruiting the builders. You want builders on your team. That's how you get a downline of a, of a million people. It's not promoting and promoting the products and leading with the products. It's about going after business builder. Who wants to run with me on this? I'm looking for 10 leaders right now. That's how you need to treat it. Treat it like a million dollar business and become a recruiting machine. They do it in sports. They do it in um, the military. They do it on LinkedIn. Recruiting is not a bad thing. 
It's part of our business. It's the main part of our business. That's what keeps the checks coming. So think bigger. And even if you don't make it, you'll still recruit a ton of people. Love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. You just see it now, can't you? You start to talk to someone and you bring up your business opportunity and you say, are you a builder? Can you recruit people? Yeah, I don't really think that's going to work. It's all right, these people saying that you need to recruit people and the best way to do that is put yourself out on social media. But that's still not going to guarantee that you are going to get any builders. And let's just say you do, by pure fluke, recruit 1,000 people. If only three of those are going to be builders stroke leaders, then what's happening to the other 997 people then? Are you just forgetting all about them? You don't care that they're not making any money? That's how it sounds to me. It's those 997 people that bother me is why I can't condone being in a multi-level marketing company because in my opinion what you are suggesting is just not ethical if you want to see some more content on live good then watch this video next if you've enjoyed this one then please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button leave me a comment and i'll see you on the next video bye bye for now